In the vast landscape of Hollywood's golden age, the actor, known for his work in films like 42nd Street and in Old Arizona, turned dreams into reality. Born on March 29, 1889, in Columbus, Ohio, the actor's career spanned over three decades and earned him an Academy Award. The actor's breakthrough role came in 1929 when he starred as the Cisco Kid in An Old Arizona, becoming the first sound picture to win an Academy Award for Best Picture. His portrayal of the charming outlaw left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Throughout his career, the actor continued to captivate audiences with his versatile performances in various genres, from drama to musicals. In the classic musical 42nd Street, he played the successful producer Julian Marsh, delivering a powerful and memorable performance. Despite his success in the film industry, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He once said, I have never sought the spotlight, only the opportunity to ply my trade and to grow as an artist. The actor's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, as his films and performances remain timeless and cherished by many. His contributions to the film industry have left an indelible mark, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. Let's take a moment to appreciate the talented actor, Warner Baxter. With a career spanning several decades, he has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Perhaps you hold closest to your heart the actor's performance in The Prisoner of Shark Island, or maybe it's 42nd Street that resonates with you the most. Out of the many legendary works this actor has done, which one do you believe define their career? Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we dive into some funny, shocking, and sad facts about the actor's life and career. Get ready to learn more about the man behind the iconic roles. Born in Columbus, Ohio, and wedding in 1889, the actor's childhood was spent in Pennsylvania after his family moved there. His father, a salesman, and his mother, a housewife, encouraged his early interest in the arts. As a young boy, he often attended local theater performances, which sparked his passion for acting. The actor's formal education included studying at the Carnegie Institute of Technology in Pittsburgh where he discovered his love for drama. He later moved to New York City to pursue a career on stage, appearing in various productions before transitioning to film. One of the actor's most significant influences was his early mentor, a well-known stage actor who took the young performer under his wing and taught him the craft of acting. The mentor's guidance and encouragement played a crucial role in the actor's development as a performer. In the early years of his film career, the actor worked with several notable directors who helped shape his style and approach to acting. Their guidance and direction were instrumental in the actor's growth as a film actor, and their influence can be seen in many of his early performances. The actor's upbringing, education, and early exposure to the arts, as well as the influence of his mentors and colleagues, all contributed to his successful career in film. His natural talent, combined with his dedication to his craft, made him a respected, an admired figure in the world of entertainment. Warner Baxter, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden age, left an indelible mark on the film industry. The actor's career spanned over four decades and his influence extended beyond his era. Baxter's breakthrough role in An Old Arizona earned him the first Academy Award for Best Actor in a Talking Picture. This achievement paved the way for future actors in the talkie era. He continued to deliver compelling performances in various genres including crime dramas, westerns, and comedies. The actor's contribution to Hollywood went beyond his on-screen presence. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild, advocating for actors' rights and fair compensation. Baxter's involvement in the Guild demonstrated his commitment to the film industry and its workforce. One of Baxter's most notable roles was as the Cisco Kid in the film series of the same name. His portrayal of the charming outlaw captured audiences' hearts and solidified his status as a leading man. The Cisco Kid series also showcased Baxter's versatility as an actor, as he played the character in both dramatic and comedic settings. Baxter's influence on the film industry extended beyond his acting roles. He was a mentor to upcoming actors, sharing his knowledge and experience to help them navigate the industry. His dedication to fostering new talent further solidified his status as a respected figure in Hollywood. In conclusion, Warner Baxter's impact on the film industry was significant and enduring. 
His contributions as an actor, advocate, and mentor continue to resonate in Hollywood today. Ever since the actor was a child, they were drawn to the magic of the silver screen. At the age of seven, they saw a traveling theater troupe perform in their small town. From that moment, they knew they wanted to be an actor. They begged their parents for acting lessons and spent hours practicing lines and perfecting their craft. The actor's first big break came when they were cast in a small role in a local theater production. They were just a teenager at the time, but they poured their heart and soul into the role. The director was impressed by their passion and dedication and offered them a larger part in the company's next show. From there, the actor's career took off. They landed role after role in local productions and eventually caught the eye of a casting director for a major film studio. They were offered a part in a big budget movie and the rest is history. Looking back on his career, the actor is grateful for that fateful day when they saw the traveling theater troupe. It was the spark that ignited his passion for acting and set him on a path to success. He continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day, and his love for the craft is as strong as ever. The actor who took on the role of the Cisco Kid in the 1928 film in Old Arizona was none other than Warner Baxter. This opportunity came about due to a twist of fate when veteran director Roel Walsh lost an eye in an automobile accident, making him unable to play the part himself. Baxter's career continued to flourish, and he was later cast as Julian Marsh in the classic film 42nd Street. Interestingly, other actors such as Warren William or Richard Barthamus were also considered for the role, and Kay Francis or Ruth Chatterton were potential picks for the part that eventually went to B.B. Daniels. In addition to his work in 42nd Street, Baxter's acting prowess was also showcased in various other roles throughout his career. For instance, Loretta Young, Joan Blondell, Glenda Farrell, and Frank McHugh were all considered for parts in 42nd Street, but Baxter ultimately secured the role of Julian Marsh. At the end of his successful career, Warner Baxter was interred at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the world of film. Born in 1889, the actor faced financial struggles early on. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, from selling newspapers to working as a cashier. Despite these hardships, he never lost sight of his dream to become an actor. The actor's journey to stardom was not an easy one. He faced skepticism from industry insiders who doubted his talent and potential. However, he refused to let their negativity discourage him. Instead, he used it as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. To gain experience and exposure, the actor performed in small theater productions and took bit parts in films. He was often typecast in minor roles, but he never gave up. He continued to hone his craft and seek out new opportunities. One of the actor's biggest breaks came when he was cast in a leading role in a major studio production. His performance was critically acclaimed, and he quickly became a sought-after talent in Hollywood. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and grounded. He never forgot his roots and the challenges he faced on his journey to stardom. He continued to take on diverse roles and push himself as an actor, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of film. Through resilience and determination, the actor overcame financial struggles and industry skepticism to become a successful and respected figure in Hollywood. His story serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that hard work and perseverance can lead to great success. After becoming a member of the Lambs, a professional theatrical club in New York City in 1918, the actor's career began to take off. He became well known in the film industry and even became godfather to Ronald Coleman's only child, Juliet. Despite his success, the actor had an unusual fear of horses, which he managed to conceal from the public. His career and personal life were filled with interesting experiences, making him a fascinating figure in the world of entertainment. The acting career of the actor took a significant turn in 1929 with his role in In Old Arizona. This groundbreaking film, one of the first talkies, earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor, marking a major milestone in his career. Critics praised the actor's performance in In Old Arizona, with the New York Times noting his naturalness and ease in the role. This recognition propelled him to stardom and paved the way for more challenging roles. In the 1930s, the actor continued to gain critical acclaim with his work in 42nd Street and Penthouse. His performances in these films showcased his versatility and range as an actor, further solidifying his status as a Hollywood leading man. 
The actor's collaborators also spoke highly of his talent and dedication. Director Frank Borzage, who worked with the actor on Lucky Star, described him as one of the greatest actors of all time. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to take on diverse roles throughout his career, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry and inspiring future generations of actors. The actor's work in in old Arizona not only earned him critical acclaim, but also transformed the way audiences experience film. His natural and authentic performance in this groundbreaking talkie set a new standard for acting in the sound era. Throughout his career, the actor's dedication to his craft and willingness to take on diverse roles made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. His contributions to the film industry continue to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to his enduring talent and impact. In the 1950s, the actor received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, honoring his significant contributions to the film industry. Prior to this, he had already been recognized with an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1930 for his role in In Old Arizona. This marked one of the first instances of an actor winning an Oscar for a performance in a talking picture. Throughout his career, the actor was also nominated for three additional Academy Awards. In 1932, he was nominated for his role in Chances, and again in 1934 for 42nd Street and Broadway Bill. His impressive body of work solidified his status as a respected and talented figure in Hollywood. In addition to his Academy Award wins and nominations, the actor was also honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Screen Actors Guild in 1949. This prestigious award recognized his long and successful career in the entertainment industry. The actor's talent and dedication to his craft have left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to be celebrated to this day. His contributions and achievements serve as a testament to his skill and passion as a performer. The actor, known for his work in the early 20th century, had a unique approach to his craft. He was deeply committed to method acting, immersing himself in the characters he played to create authentic and believable performances. The actor's process began with extensive research, delving into the background and motivations of his characters. He would often interview people with similar experiences or characteristics to gain insight into their perspective and mannerisms. Once he had a solid understanding of his character, the actor would experiment with different vocal inflections, physical movements, and expressions to bring them to life. He believed that every detail, no matter how small, contributed to the overall impact of his performance. This meticulous attention to detail earned him critical acclaim and a reputation as a consummate professional. The actor's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Having grown up during the early 1900s, he brought a sense of nostalgia and longing to his roles. He often played characters grappling with the challenges of modernity and the changing social landscape of the time. His performances resonated with audiences who saw themselves in his character struggles. In addition to his acting, the actor was also known for his advocacy for social justice. He used his platform to raise awareness about issues such as poverty, inequality, and workers' rights. His commitment to these causes was evident in his choice of roles, often selecting projects that highlighted the experiences of marginalized communities. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to push himself creatively, exploring new genres and techniques throughout his career. His unique approach to acting and commitment to social justice have left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to inspire actors today. Warner Baxter made history as the first actor to bring Jay Gatsby to life on the big screen in the 1926 film adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic novel, The Great Gatsby. In the 1933 film 42nd Street, Baxter took on the role of Julian Marsh, a demanding director with a secret. The original source material by Bradford Ropes depicted Marsh as gay, which explained his indifference towards the chorus girls and his request for Andy to spend the night with him to keep his job. Marsh's unusual fondness for Billy Lawler, despite his lack of talent, also became clearer in this context. Baxter's own mother, Jane Barrett Baxter, lived to be 92 and outlived him by almost 11 years, passing away on March 29, 1962. Delving deeper into Baxter's portrayal of Julian Marsh, it is evident that the actor brought a nuanced and subtle performance to the role. Despite the character's harsh exterior, Baxter was able to convey Marsh's vulnerability and emotional depth. 
The film's exploration of the cutthroat world of show business and the sacrifices made in pursuit of success resonated with audiences of the time and continues to do so today. Baxter's ability to inhabit complex and multifaceted characters was a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. His portrayal of Jay Gatsby in The Great Gatsby remains an iconic interpretation of the enigmatic and ultimately tragic character. Meanwhile, his turn as Julian Marsh in 42nd Street showcased his range and his ability to bring depth and nuance to a character that could have easily been one-dimensional. In the end, Baxter's contributions to the world of film and his ability to leave a lasting impact on audiences continue to be celebrated and cherished to this day. His work serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of the human experience. Whether on the stage or on the screen, Baxter's talent and dedication to his craft left an indelible mark on the tapestry of film history. The actor, Warner Baxter, left an indelible mark on the film industry with his versatile performances and nuanced portrayals. His work in the 1929 film in Old Arizona earned him the first Academy Award for Best Actor in a Talking Picture. This achievement paved the way for future actors in the industry. Baxter's ability to embody a wide range of characters contributed to his enduring popularity. In the 1931 film The Squaw Man, he played a character vastly different from his previous roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. This ability to transform into various characters influenced future generations of actors, inspiring them to push the boundaries of their craft. Industry experts and fellow actors alike have praised Baxter's contributions to the industry. According to film historian G9 Basinger, Warner Baxter was a master of his craft, able to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio has cited Baxter as an inspiration, stating, Baxter's ability to fully immerse himself in a character has always been something I've admired and strive for in my own work. Baxter's influence extended beyond his acting abilities, as he was also known for his contributions to the industry off-screen. He served as the president of the Screen Actors Guild from 1933 to 1935, advocating for the rights and fair treatment of actors in the industry. In addition to his work in film, Baxter also made significant contributions to the world of television. In the 1950s, he starred in the popular television show The Pursuers, further solidifying his status as a versatile and enduring talent. Overall, Warner Baxter's contributions to the film and television industry cannot be overstated. His ability to transform into various characters, his advocacy for actors' rights, and his contributions to television have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire future generations of actors and filmmakers. The actor became the first American to win the Academy Award for Best Actor, marking a significant milestone in his career. This recognition was for his exceptional performance in the 1929 film in Old Arizona. His portrayal of the Cisco Kid, a charming and roguish bandit, resonated with audiences and critics alike. Born in Whitey 1889, the actor's journey to stardom was not without its challenges. He started his career on the stage before transitioning to film in the 1920s. His early film roles were largely supporting ones, but he quickly made a name for himself with his versatile acting style. In the 1930s, the actor continued to deliver strong performances in various film genres. He starred in crime dramas, historical epics, and comedies, demonstrating his wide range as an actor. His performance in the 1931 film The Squaw Man earned him his second Academy Award nomination. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He once said, I have never sought the spotlight. I have only sought to play my parts to the best of my ability. This dedication and hard work earned him a lasting place in the history of American cinema. The actor's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors today. His ability to adapt to different roles and genres serves as a reminder of the importance of versatility in the acting profession. The actor's contributions to the world of film continue to resonate, leaving a mark that transcends time. Outside of his acting career, the actor, Warner Baxter, was known to have a deep appreciation for nature and the outdoors. He often spent his free time hiking and camping, which influenced his roles in several of his films. For instance, in the movie The Trail of the Lonesome Pine, Baxter played a character who lived in the Appalachian Mountains, and his love for the outdoors helped him accurately portray the role. Moreover, the actor was also passionate about giving back to his community. 
He was involved in various philanthropic efforts, including supporting children's hospitals and advocating for animal rights. Baxter was particularly moved by the plight of children suffering from illnesses, and he often visited hospitals to spend time with them and lift their spirits. In addition to his love for nature and philanthropy, the actor was also an avid art collector. He had a keen eye for unique and beautiful pieces, and his collection included works from various artists and mediums. Baxter's appreciation for art often translated into his work as he brought a level of depth and sophistication to his roles that only an art lover could provide. One of the most notable examples of Baxter's philanthropic efforts was his involvement with the Shriners Hospitals for Children. He was a member of the Shriners organization and worked tirelessly to raise funds and awareness for the hospitals. Baxter's dedication to the cause was unwavering and he continued to support the Shriners even after his acting career ended. In conclusion, Warner Baxter was not only a talented actor, but also a kind-hearted and compassionate individual who cared deeply for his community and the world around him. His love for nature, art, and giving back to others shaped his career and left a lasting impact on those he encountered. The actor's career was marked by both success and personal tragedy. In 1935, while at the height of his fame, he suffered a severe burn injury that left him with lifelong scars. The accident occurred while he was performing a stunt for the film The Prisoner of Shark Island. Despite the pain and disfigurement, the actor continued to work, often wearing heavy makeup to cover his scars. In addition to his physical struggles, the actor also faced personal loss. His only child, a daughter named Joan, died at the age of 26 from complications related to pneumonia. The actor was devastated by her death and became even more private in his later years. Despite these challenges, the actor remained a respected and beloved figure in Hollywood. He won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1929 for his role in An Old Arizona, becoming the first actor to win an Oscar for a performance in a talking picture. He continued to act in films and on television until his death in 1951 at the age of 62. The actor's legacy is still felt today, with his films and performances continuing to inspire and entertain audiences. His ability to overcome personal and physical challenges and continue to work in the industry is a testament to his strength and determination as an artist. The scars he bore, both inside and out, serve as a reminder of the sacrifices he made for his craft. Warner Baxter, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, won the hearts of many with his versatile performances. His legacy continues to inspire aspiring professionals today. Baxter's career spanned over four decades, and he graced both stage and screen with his talent. He was a true thespian who could captivate audiences with his emotive performances. His work in films like In Old Arizona and 42nd Street resonated with critics and fans alike. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, Baxter had some advice. He believed that hard work and dedication were the keys to success. An actor's job is never done, he would say. There's always room for improvement, and one must constantly strive to perfect their craft. Baxter also emphasized the importance of staying true to oneself. Don't try to be someone you're not, he would advise. Find your unique voice and let it shine through in your performances. As for the future, Baxter believed that the film industry would continue to evolve and grow. He saw the potential for new technologies to enhance storytelling and create more immersive experiences for audiences. However, he also believed that the heart of the industry would always be the actors who brought the stories to life. The future of the industry is bright, but it's the performers who will continue to captivate and inspire audiences for generations to come. He once said, In conclusion, Warner Baxter's legacy as an actor is one that continues to inspire and influence the film industry today. His advice to aspiring professionals is as relevant now as it was during his time. Stay true to yourself, work hard, and never stop learning. The future of the industry is in your hands. Furthermore, the actor's performances have left a lasting impression on the world of film. His roles brought characters to life in a way that many still remember fondly. From the courageous leads to the heartfelt supporting roles, he showed a range of emotions and depth that connected with audiences across the globe. His work in the showbiz industry has inspired countless individuals to follow their dreams and pursue their passions in the arts. Now, we turn to you, our viewers, to share your own experiences and memories. 
How has the actor's work touched your life? What moments from his films or shows have stayed with you over the years? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this tribute, don't forget to hit the like button, share with friends, and subscribe for more content that celebrates the artistic talents that have shaped our entertainment experiences. Your engagement helps keep the actor's memory alive and honors the creative spirits of yesterday and today. Let's keep the conversation going.